Drilling is very efficient at removing a large amount of material quickly. Unfortunately, a high material removal rate requires substantial power. And for a given stock material and tool, that power needs to be delivered within a specific speed range. Now remember, power is the product of speed and torque. And for a small machine like this Precision Matthews 25, drilling operations could be limited by speed or torque. But there's a third parameter that can be limiting in drilling, and that's feed thrust. Feed thrust is the force that pushes the drill bit against the stock material. Today I'll show you how I measured feed thrust on this machine. I'm developing a Python module for estimating the requirements of machining operations, and I want to compare those estimates against empirical measurements, and I'm starting with drilling. So I need to measure feed thrust. Okay, quick mechanical review. This is a Precision Matthews 25 mill machine with a CNC conversion kit from David Clements of Arizona Video. The conversion kit used five millimeter pitch ball screws, and I added Easy Servo, a lead shine Easy Servo separate motors to all axes. These are uh, servo feedback separate motors. That is, uh, their driving current is proportional to uh, the following air. For the impatient, this machine delivers about 300 pounds of um, a thrust force. To measure thrust force, you use a basic bathroom scale. Um, put a piece of uh, wood ac across the top to transfer load across the entire surface. 300 pounds is close to the limit of this scale, so I added this beam to split the force between the scale and the stack. If you needed a different ratio, uh, either move closer or further away from the scale. The simplest way to, to Perform the measurement is to manually drive the uh, nose of the spindle into the scale and read the measurement off. With this digital scale at least, it takes quite a while for the scale to stabilize and for any value to be shown. So I needed something which was consistent and also likely near the maximum thrust force. In one of the earliest videos that I made for YouTube, I showed how to decode uh, the diagnostic protocol of the lead shine easy servo stepper motor uh, drives to extract the following error from it. And here I use that following error. The program monitors the following error, advancing uh, the spindle by 20 thousandths of an inch increments by sending commands to Linux CNC until the following error exceeds one millimeter, at which point uh, advancement stop and um, the scale stabilizes and you can read off the thrust force uh, from the scale. Thrust force can be estimated from motor torque and ball screw lead. Using values from the motor spec sheet, the estimate may be optimistic, in this case 500 pounds if holding torque is reported. Running torque of the separate motors is roughly twice detent torque less than holding torque. If only a single measurement is needed, simply advance the spindle nose into the scale manually and do this slowly. A closed loop motor will eventually fall then the ball screw will spin freely, releasing much of the force. I needed multiple measurements and consistent measurements, so I wrote software that advances the spindle nose into the scale until one millimeter of following error is reported by the Z-axis motor drive. This table reports measurements from each of the beam locations and scale center, showing a thrust force of 300 pounds. In this case, only the scale center measurements are needed, the beam is only needed if a direct measurement would exceed the capacity of the scale. All the measurements can be summarized with a scatter plot. A linear regression shows 300 pounds of force is well supported and the beam works well to reduce the force measured by the scale. This graph was generated using my Pi machining module. Drilling into aluminum, 300 pounds thrust force will be enough for standard chisel point drills up to about 5 eighths of an inch. Unfortunately, the PM25 with an upgraded spindle motor will be power limited around 7 sixteenths of an inch. This estimate is tested in a separate video about replacing the BLDC spindle motor with an AC servo motor. The scale is simple inside. Pressure sensors in the feet act as power switches. Two beams, like the beam in this video, divert part of the force applied to the top of the scale to a load cell with a small strain gauge. If you are fascinated by comparing predicted and measured machine performance in a home shop, subscribe and share the video with someone else. And thank you for all your support.